In this video, I'm going to show you how and when you should use absolute, relative and mixed self-referencing in Excel. This is the sample data set that we have. Let's say we have sales information for these three different types of app for each quarter. First thing we're asked to do is to get the total for the year for each app. So I'm going to go to this cell and I'm going to use the shortcut key Alt and the equal sign. This automatically inserts the sum formula and it's kind of smart because it realizes where it has numbers and it sums those values. So in this case it's correct, I just have to press enter. Now I'm going to push this down by double clicking on the edge here. Let's take a look at our formula. If I click on the first row here and I click inside the formula, it's summing B5 to E5. Now, if I go to the last one here and I click inside the formula, we can see that it's summing B7 to E7. This is called relative referencing because the referenced cells are moving down as my formula moves down. So now let's say my boss comes to me and says, give me the percentage of each app in comparison to the total for the year. So first thing I need to do is to calculate the total. So I'm going to come here and again use the same shortcut key combination, Alt and the equal sign. And again, this time it's smart. It notices that it has numbers on top, so it's going to sum those. Now all I have to do is to press enter. So now comes the tricky part of calculating the percentage. So I'm going to come here, type in the equal sign, click on the first total for the game app and divide that by the total here. Okay, I'm going to change this to percentage. Now, can I pull this down just like I did before? Well, let's try it. I run into a problem. Why? Let's click inside the formula. It says this divided by this, right? So the total value here shifted down, which is correct because this percentage should reflect the utility app, but the total value shouldn't move down. I need that to be fixed. This is when you need absolute referencing. That means you need to add dollar signs to the row as well as to the column reference. And you can do that quickly by using the shortcut key F4. That automatically puts in the dollar signs. You can, of course, also put in the dollar signs yourself. You don't have to use the shortcut key. It's just much faster to use the shortcut key. Let's pause for a quick tip. If you click on F4 once, you get the dollar sign for both the column as well as the row. If you click on it again, you get the dollar sign only for the row. Once more, it puts the dollar sign only for the column and click it again it goes back to relative referencing. We're going to see the mixed referencing part in a second and why you might need it. So when I press enter now and I pull this down, I get the formula to work properly because what these dollar signs do is they fix the column reference as well as the row reference. It doesn't move down. So when I'm here, we can see the first part is relative the second part of the formula is fixed to this cell. Now let's say my boss comes to me and says, calculate the percentage of each quarter for each app so that we can quickly see which quarters we had the most sales and which quarters we had the least sales for each of these apps. What I'm gonna do is to copy this information. So control C, go here and paste this. Now, I'm going to remove these because instead of these numbers, I want to see percentages here. And that percentage is going to be the value I have in quarter one divided by the total I have in quarter one for that app. So what do we need here? Relative, absolute, mixed referencing. Let's test it out. First, I'm going to say this equals to this number divided by this number. Right? Can I leave this like this? Not really, right? I mean, for this value, it's going to work fine. But when I pull this over, what happens to this? 
the same thing that happened before when we calculated the totals here. This number is going to keep shifting this way. I don't want it to shift. So do I need to use full referencing here? So absolute referencing. Well, let's try it. What happens if I do? I'm going to click on this F5 here and press F4 to get it fully fixed. Now I'm going to pull this over here and let's take a look. Let's go to this cell, click on this. This looks great, right? It has this cell divided by this cell. So perfect. Let's just pull this down. Is that our report? Could we give this to our boss? Let's check. Is this correct? No, because this doesn't even add up to 100%, right? So there's something wrong here. Let's just click on this cell, click inside the formula, and we can see it's taking this number, that part is correct, but it's dividing it by the total for game app. We don't want that. And it's doing it because we fully fixed the reference to F5, so that doesn't move at all. But we do want it to partially move, right? So what part of this do we want to move? The row part, right? Because we want the number five to become number six, since we're on row six here, and then to become number seven. So the part that you want to move shouldn't have a dollar sign. The dollar sign is for the part that you want fixed. So right here, what do we want fixed? We want the column to be fixed. We want F to be fixed. That shouldn't move to G, shouldn't move to E. It should always stay on F, but we want the row to move. This means that the dollar sign stays with the part that we want fixed. So it stays with F, and I'm gonna remove the dollar sign from the row here. Now, if we pull this across and we pull this down, we get it to work properly. And the way that you can test this is always go to the end of your data set and then just double check that your formula referencing is correct. So in this case, it's dividing this by this, which is correct. And here we are using mixed cell referencing. That's how you can use absolute relative and mixed cell referencing in Excel. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to receive updates when new videos come out, consider subscribing.